having cancer is more expensive than raising children, study shows. The cost of having cancer is more expensive than the cost of having a child, according to new research. Macmillan Cancer Support S new study says most patients are 570 worse off each month. This is due to a combination of being too ill to work and additional outgoings, such as paying to get to hospital appointments. When compared with the local government survey which found parents spending a monthly average of 448.41 for a child under 11, it made having cancer 121.59 more expensive. Cancer and its treatments can also leave patients feeling the cold more, with 1 in 5, 21%, seeing their yearly energy bill increase by almost 200 on average. With many cancer patients at risk of spiraling into debt, Macmillan has called on the government to use the Financial Guidance and Claims Bill, which is currently going through Parliament. The charity wants to change the law so that banks and building societies have a legal obligation to act in the best interests of their customers, particularly if they are vulnerable. This could include flexibility on mortgage payments, interest freezes on credit cards and loans, or ensuring customers are signposted to financial help as early as possible. Macmillan gave out a record $13.9 million in 2017 alone to help cover the extra costs of their diagnosis. But the charity S research reveals that just 11% of people with cancer actually tell their bank about their diagnosis. Mum of three Christine Martindale faced a serious financial struggle when she was diagnosed with cancer of the parotid, part of the salivary gland. The 60-year-old former social worker from Falmouth, Cornwall, said, I was in the middle of moving house when I was diagnosed and there came a point when I thought, I just can't cope. I had to withdraw my house from the market and lost money on a survey for another home. My finances continued to dwindle and I had to borrow from my daughter, friends and family to cover my expenses. I even got a lodger to help cover my mortgage. When I was pregnant I could prepare for the arrival of my children and it was an experience I could share. But cancer was never planned and it was not foreseen. People didn't gather around me like they did for a baby I felt in isolation. Linda Thomas, the charity S chief executive, said, Cancer does not wait until you get a promotion at work or until you have enough savings in the bank. It arrives unexpectedly, shaking up everything from your health to your finances. Without the right support, the sudden financial impact of the disease can be crippling. She added, Progress has been made, but this change in the law